Howdy folks, welcome to another tutorial. Um, I believe in my last video I told you guys I was going to show you how I prepare my glazed salmon, um, which is what we're going to do today. I hope everyone has been all right, okay, doing fine, doing all you need to do, doing all that's necessary to do and nothing more but absolutely nothing less. So today I am going to show you how I do my glazed salmon. Um, it's also, it's another easy recipe um, just because I like taking people on this journey with me. I don't want to come with you, come at you with, you know, complicated stuff. I like to keep it light so you can just enjoy yourselves at home. Or if you have friends and family over, you could just dish out and do what it is you've learned from me. So um, without further ado, let's go over to the ingredients. Let me. As I said, we're going to look at the ingredients. There's nothing too fancy about this dish. There's nothing too complicated about it. Just follow the instructions and you'll be quite all right so what we need is i have here one and a quarter pound of salmon i have we will be using a teaspoon of sesame oil i have two finely minced garlic cloves and i have one teaspoon of finely minced ginger i like freshly minced the garlic and ginger i don't like the stuff you get out of a bottle because there's always something that's added to it and we will need one teaspoon of brown sugar i have one fourth cup of soy sauce we prefer the kikoman brand over here and then we will be using the Korean hot pepper paste that I mentioned earlier this week. This pepper hot pepper paste is hot. It's not for the people that absolutely do not appreciate um, eating spicy, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find a non um, spicy pepper paste in any Asian store. So this is what it looks like. It is called gochujang. I think I'm trying. I'm really trying to get my Korean like working my favor, but <laughs> um, I have to deal with three other languages. And my mind sometimes just is like, listen, girl, don't do this to me. But okay. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. And it's delicious. So what we're going to do next is spoon here we're going to mix all of these ingredients let's get my garlic my ginger my brown sugar give this a mix Let's add the soy sauce. Give that a mix. Sesame oil. One teaspoon of sesame oil. Mix it well. Make sure you mix all the ingredients well. And 
then I will be using two tablespoons of the hot pepper paste. You're definitely welcome to use just one, but we are some absolute spicy eaters in this house, so I always add two tablespoons. Keep the spice train going. So, be careful when you mix in the hot pepper paste. Be careful not to spill. Take your time with it. We are absolutely not in a hurry. Make sure it's mixed in well. You have a slightly thicker sauce or thicker consistency. So it doesn't dry off. Oops. Cheryl, be careful. So, we're going to set this aside for a bit. What we're going to do next is, I've um, set the oven on 450 degrees, turned on the, no, I'm sorry, I've turned on the broiler. Broiler. We're going to broil the, the salmon for approximately two minutes. Uh, but first we're going to season it with some salt and salt. Oh, what is wrong with me today? Season it with some salt and then we're going to swish it into the oven and let it broil for two minutes. Um, the broil is on high. Make sure it's on high. Two minutes. Do not go over the two minutes. All right? Okay, so this baby goes into the oven for two minutes. Just make sure you keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't go over the two minutes because you don't want that to happen. Um, I've never overcooked my salmon. I just, I make sure my salmon is cooked well because I don't like uncooked stuff. Um, so I make sure my salmon is cooked well. Um, and um, other than that, there's not a lot that you do when it comes to the salmon. I'll make sure I chop up some um, scallions for the garnish and then um, add some Toasted sesame seeds when it's done. Just that's just for you know the prettiness of it. You don't necessarily have to do that, but um, you know if you want to fancy up your stuff before you dish it out, you add some scallions to it. Let me wash my hands in the meantime, and make sure you wash your hands in between. Make sure you wash under your nails because a lot of nasty, yucky stuff tends to hide under your nails. In my nature, I, I, I have this thing about washing my hands. Maybe I wash my hands um, too often. I don't know. Um, and somebody once told me um, by the color of my hands it looks like I don't do any house chores or housework or I don't cook and I don't do anything and I'm like that is some total BS but okay it's whatever you want the color of my hands are my my feet are the same color and people are, you know you get the same people to tell you oh you don't go out you're not outside often or you know, like this is some nonsense this is how I was born. This is who I am. I have these pale hands 
and pill feet. Genetics, DNA, it is whatever it is. So let's get this baby out of the oven. oven and what we're going to do now is we're going to glaze the salmon with the sauce and then um, put it back into the oven so let's do that oh here we go I have my kitchen brush and we're going to generously brush the sauce onto the salmon Make sure you cover it well. Cover it well. Add some of those spices on there. Some of the ginger and the garlic. You know. And then it'll go back into the oven to broil another three to five minutes and it totally depends on how well cooked you want your salmon um i want mine well and well cooked normally what i do is i bake it and then i broil it broil it for a bit um but today i'll just i'll do the broil i'll use the broil technique and um see what comes from it so into the oven it goes this is what it looks like in the oven i'm about to take it out it has done well using the broil technique but yeah let me just take it out and start the garnishing so here it is this is my glazed gochujang salmon and what we're going to do, I'm going to garnish it with um, a scallion and I have some freshly chopped um, dill and some toasted sesame seeds. You can either buy um, the normal ones and toast it yourself, but I had these, so that's what I'm going to do it with. And we'll do the scallions. Get some color into it, you know, and some freshly chopped dill. Mm -hmm. So, let me wash my hands so I can give you a close up of what this baby looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. See. You don't have to go to nobody's restaurant and pay X amount of money to have some good looking and very nice tasting salmon. You can just do this at home. Impress the people you love, the people you like, and maybe sometimes the people you do not like. But it is what it is, do what it do. I hope you, you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, please make sure you share, comment, like, tell me what it is you think about this dish. And if you've tried it, please make sure you tag me on um, Instagram. The ingredients will be down in the description box as well as my, my Instagram um, page for my cooking stuff. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Let's connect, let's, let's talk. And if you have a recipe that you want me to try, please do not hesitate to tell me. I'm willing to try just about anything, if not anything. So thank you for being here with me. Y'all have a great day. Be nice, be gentle, be mindful, and keep it moving. Toodle-a-dokey.